Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, obviously, I'm not up on Dartmoor. I'm at my new allotment. Has, uh, I've had three days off. I had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, and it's all been a disaster, well, apart from last night. Wednesday, I was supposed to work, uh, walk, do a walk from Dawlish to Tynmouth, which is just down over there. But the weather was really, really bad, so I couldn't go out then. Yesterday, I was um, spending the day with my wife and my son, who's got a day off nursery. Weather was rubbish then as well. But thankfully, I managed to get out last night and um, met up with some new people. They don't do YouTube, uh, they're on Instagram and all that, and they're all amateur phot photographers. So I met up with them and um, yeah, really uh, good bunch there. Um, I've learned a few things, but obviously I've only got my phone at the moment, so they've all got their proper gear. I ain't got any of that. So I'll, I'll, put, I'll, I'll see if I'm gonna put some videos together. I mean, some pictures together and just a short little video of what I've done last night. But yeah, so, Finally made it up to the allotment. I've done a little walk in this morning. Then the first thing I wanted to do was set up the tarp tent because it's forecast for sun and showers today. And uh, I forgot how to put the tarp tent up. So it took me a while to do. And then my neighbors turned up. So I couldn't do any filming. I felt really conscious about filming. But it just absolutely chucked, chucked it down with rain. They've uh, bugged off. I'm here on my own, the sun's finally come out. I've done a little bit of digging. Then realised what time it was, so I thought I'd better crack on and have my lunch. I love it up here. It's I will show you in a minute the views from here. I don't think you can beat it really, unless you're in the Highlands of Scotland or somewhere like that. So I've um my first allotment was in Exeter. I'll show you a picture now. I've gone from this one here to the one at Starcross, which is, they've got a great community down there, but unfortunately, there's no water source, which was a very, very big problem for me. And now I've come to this one with beautiful views, a lot of work needs doing to it, but I have a tap at the bottom of my plot, so ideal. So, yeah, I'm just rambling on a little bit now. I will show you the views. All right, so we'll start off with my, with my plot. That's not the best um, shelter I've ever put up, but do you know what? It kept me dry, so that's all that matters. As I said, I have a lot of work that needs to be done on here with this keech grass. But, I do have rhubarb up there. You can't see it, but I've rhubarb in that corner. And I have rhubarb down here. Plus all the rhubarb that I will be collecting from my old plot. Let's show you the views. I really do hope that's picking it up. But just here you have Hay Tor up on Dartmoor. And then you've got the Teen Estuary. Sheldon Bridge. Tynmouth. And unfortunately because of the weather you can't see it at the moment. But you've got the uh, south coast running all the way up along there. Uh, Sidmouth, Seaton, goes all the way up. You really, really can't beat that for a few, can you? I'm so, so lucky. So, I suppose I better crack on. I'll quickly show you the small amount I've just done. There we are. 
for the time being I'm just going to dig this over tie a net break it up so it looks kind of half decent but obviously with this cooch grass it'll be a diff different matter uh, matter all right stop rambling on let's crack on Well, uh, time's ticking along. I've not done a huge amount, as you can see here. But I couldn't really do much this morning. I was putting the tarp up and uh, I've had to duck in three times because of the rain. Duck into the tarp, that is. That's really, really... I'm really grateful for that tarp. I'm glad I bought that. So I'm just going to sit down and chill. I was going to save it to the end of the day, but <laughs> sorry, I'm going to have one now. But got myself a bishop's finger and a spitfire. What one should I have? I think I'll go for the old bishop's finger. I'm going to take the glass bottles on with me because I'm saving them for um, my home brew. Cheers. This is just a stunning place. I mean, this view here, just sat back, chilling. It's not just an allotment, it's a place to come and relax. I love it here. And if I show you here, this is, you couldn't see this out here because of the weather, but that's the uh, the coastline I was on about. Oh, I'm so lucky. So, not all of you are going to watch this video, uh, not all of you are going to be into the allotment, that's fair enough. But um, I'll make it an easy title, allotment, or something like that, so you know whether you want to watch it or not. The only bad thing about this place is the traffic from the main road just back there. Yeah, the video's not gone as well as I thought it was going to. But hey, I'm out here and I will put it together. Um, I will be doing another video soon. Probably next week not next week, um, the week after, just a channel update. I know I've done a lot of channel updates lately, but there's a lot going on and yeah, it should be the last update for a while anyway. It's just gonna be explaining a few things about the name and, and all that kind of stuff. Can't believe the amount of rhubarb I've got here. And that's without all the stuff I'm gonna bring from me either allotment. 
Right, I'm going to chill out with this and uh, do a little bit more. Well, I've really enjoyed that ale. So I suppose I better tell you what plans I have for the allotment. Although I think for this year, I'm just gonna have to do what I can do. So eventually, I want all my rhubarb to be running up through here, along this bottom bit here. And then eventually, because it's on a slope, I'm going to build a strawberry bed, a thin strawberry bed going down the side here, the side of the plot. And also the same down that side. But I think just for this year, because obviously I've got a lot of work to do, I've got to clear all the uh, grass here. It's going to take some time. I think all my other rhubarb that I'm bringing up from the other allotment I'm just going to chuck up here for now let us settle in, settle in once all this is cleared up and down the bottom there then I'll just chuck all my rhubarb down there that's the plan anyway but for now I'm just going to you know, I've pretty much finished here for today. Got about 35 minutes till the bus goes. So I'm just going to sit down, chill out, and enjoy these views. So if you watched this far, thank you very much. Keep an eye out for the my channel update, and I'm hoping to be up back up at Dartmoor in a few weeks as well. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.